Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Build Box Free is going to be released any second now. It should, in theory, be out. Uh, if you head on over to buildbox.com, you will see that there is currently a countdown. And given the fact it'll probably give me about a half an hour to produce and publish this video, when this goes live, hopefully you can download it. It should be available at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And a lot of people have been really wanting to hear about this, so I decided I'd do a video in advance. By the way, I am going to do a follow-up video once I've got my hands on BuildBox to give you my impressions, a little bit of an overview, and so you can see BuildBox in action without having to download it yourself. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming in the next couple of days. So why are people so excited about BuildBox? Well, first off, uh, it's been around for quite some time now. And it used to have an obscene price tag, like we're talking 2500 bucks or something like that for a license and really no details available. Then on top of that, they changed the pricing, made it a little bit cheaper, and they made a demo version available, but you needed to give them your credit card and they would bill you and then credit you back. It was no, not going to happen. So a lot of people haven't actually had their hands on BuildBox. The entire idea behind BuildBox is that it makes creating games very easy. The entire idea here is they embrace the whole no-code movement, so you work with predefined pieces. Um, so no programming is required, although you can drop down in the newest version and work with JavaScript if you so wish to extend it. So you can think of it kind of like a Unity for less technical people. Uh, and it's been around since January of 2015. It's very much got a mixed bag community-wise. Some people say that it's excellent. Some people say that it's garbage. And until I can get my hands on it and give you my own opinion, I, I really can't say. I don't know if it is limited to really simple games or if you can actually create a diverse enough type of game from this. The cool thing is, with this release, they've changed the pricing structure. There is a free version available, and we'll get into all of that in just a second. So really, this might be one of the simplest game builders out there, and it doesn't require you to code. So I get that's why a lot of people are pretty excited about it. Now, don't get me wrong. You're still coding. You're just coding through a different manner or different mechanism. All right, so that is BuildBox. That is... Um, the thing that we've all been waiting for and the free version, as I mentioned, should ship right about the time that this video goes live. So there's a blog post about it. In all honesty, there's not a lot of details there. There's this video here that gives you a bit of a product overview, though. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out if you want, you know, the two-minute overview of what BuildBox is all about and what is new here. Um, we've got new things in, like, smart assets. So if you've got things like a predefined door or a lock and key, you can drop that in and have your game logic right there. Uh, brain boxes, newest feature, second creation layer in build boxes, brain boxes, have you take 3D game development to a whole new level. Uh, they work much more like components did in build box 2, but provide more control over a 3D model. Uh, with brain boxes, you can add brains to any character. Uh, so basically, it's kind of like uh, logic or scripts. You can attack the characters. Uh, we've got nodes, uh, advanced node system, smart nodes, easier to use. They add a deeper level of complexity to your game by allowing you to create logic for any character or object in your game. And then we have low code. And I think this is actually new to the next this new version of um, BuildBox that is dropping. And this allows you to actually create your own nodes using the JavaScript programming language. And they're also going to have the ability to sell your stuff in their upcoming asset store. Um, and then we've got 2D and 3D world creation, a uh, number of fixes there. Uh, there's a fly mode in the 3D stuff now. So that's kind of the gist of it. Now, one, one thing you're probably asking yourself at this point in time is, what is BuildBox free? Like, what are the limitations of free, or what is this all about? And one of the things they've done with this next version of BuildBox, so I guess we could call it BuildBox 3, free, um, is they've changed their licensing structure. So we've got a pricing update. This was announced back in mid-December. And what we see now is we're going to have two tiers. You're going to have BuildBox Free, which thankfully enough is called is actually free. And then we got BuildBox Pro, which is $60 a month or $500 a year. And ultimately, that is how they make their money. Of course, it sounds like there will be an asset store as well. Um, we're also bringing back annual contracts. So all plans, including the monthly option, will be set on a 12-month yearly contract, which you can choose to re renew or opt out of. And then in terms of the difference here, BuildBox Free is a lighter version, version of the Pro plan. Uh, this means that there are some limitations. With BuildBox Free, you will be able to integrate only two popular ad networks, AdMob and Iron Source, and they'll take a 10% cut of what you um you make from ad sources there. Uh, there is a one world limitation, plus your game splash screen will feature the BuildBox logo. Now this is one of those things I've always thought was insane. 
If you're going to have a free version and force your branding on the front, that means your branding is going to go on the crappiest of crap games. This is something Unity did all along and then ultimately decided, hey, wait a minute, that might be kind of stupid. And yes, yes, it is kind of stupid. So if you want to associate your, um, you know, logo with people's, you know, my first project or my project not enough worth or investing in your full bone version, it, it, yeah, it, it's dumb. So anyways, uh, I, I'm actually curious to hear what your opinion of forcing your logo on the free version is. Do you share mine that you're kind of, you're showing the worst of products next to your logo then? Whereas then the people that actually have faith in their product and spend money don't show your logo. So then they don't realize that your, you know, technology actually works for good games as well as crap games. Anyways. So, um, yeah, we got some breakdowns. So, again, obviously that Worlds is going to be a check, but you do get unlimited scenes still. You cannot customize the splash screen. Uh, you can only export to mobile. There's no desk port, uh, desktop export. Ooh, new word, desk port. A new desktop export is not available in the free version. And then you only have the option for ad mob and 10% revenue share and iron source 10% revenue share. So other ad networks, in-app purchases and mediation support are not available. I gotta say on the whole, it, it, it's a reasonable breakdown. Um, it, you know, it, it does divide the two nicely. It gives you a reason that if you actually like the product and you're going to succeed with the product, the price point that they are working with makes a lot more sense now. The old price point was basically give us three grand and hopefully this engine is good for you. That didn't quite work. This is a very reasonable um uh, a reasonable entry point, I think it's going to get a lot more people to try out BuildBox. And if they are actually successful with BuildBox, either on the ad side or on the um, deployment side, you know, their, their game, you know, is going to be a success. So they'll upgrade to your pro version. It's a win-win license, in my opinion. So I think for the most part, this is a good idea. Except again, I think that mandatory splash screen is just not in the game engine manufacturer's best interest because... No, reasons I gave anyways. So that is the difference between BuildBox Free and BuildBox Pro. Uh, again, quite reasonable. And then we have finally their the game jam coming up right after this is released. So on, Jan on December the 20th, today being the 18th, at least where I am, um, there is going to be a game jam running. Um, we'll be giving away a total of 15 prizes. Submission deadline will be January the 19th uh, at 11.59 uh, first prize. Winner will have their choice of a new Xbox One X, PlayStation Pro, Nintendo Switch, or Oculus Rift S, plus a $100 gift card. Uh, they'll also receive our BuildBox swag bag and feature on our homepage, showcase gallery, social channels with more than 100,000 followers and fans for extra exposure. Um, and then you see kind of a similar, slightly lesser and lesser, lesser for each particular drop down. No more details about the actual game jam, like theme or anything there. So it might just be games made with build box as the theme. I don't know. So anyways, that is it. And you will notice if I come back here, oh, by the way, if you zoom down the window small enough, the, the counter goes away. Uh, yep, 27 minutes left until launch. So theoretically, I should easily have this video up and published at that point in time. So you should be able to immediately now go ahead and download build box. I will be doing the same thing myself. And I will do a follow-up video hands-on some point in the near future. Let me know what you think of BuildBox. Did you use BuildBox 2 or a previous version in the past? Uh, what do you think of it? Do you have an opinion there? And are you excited about this new free version of BuildBox? Let me know all those things. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.